it's the Insane Gamers, and I'm back again for another Pokemon 5th Generation Wi-Fi battle. And today I'm fighting some guy from my chat who came on, and he wanted to battle me. He didn't give me a YouTube or anything, so, you know, I don't really know if he has one or not. But anyhow, here it is! He's got a crappy Rain Dance team, which is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. So he's gonna lead with a Nubasaurus Rex, and I'm just like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Like, you seriously led with this thing thinking you were just gonna Skype... Oh, uh, yeah. You seriously led with this thing thinking you were just gonna sweep my entire team? Like, come on now. So I paralyze it, screw it over, get some SR up, and my Celebi takes a plus one Dragon Claw with over half of its health. I'm just like, wow, Celebi, what a tank. So he just keeps Dragon Dancing. I don't really know why he's paralyzed. I can just outspeed him with my Jolly Scarf Kajondo. This is a new team, by the way, in case you didn't notice. So I go for the Sucker Punch, and uh, he got paralyzed. I guess he was Dragon Dancing again. Celebi with Sucker Punch is pretty dang beastly, I gotta say that. Anyway, I just go for the Giga Drain again, thinking he's gonna attack, and uh, he does. Goes for the Dragon Claw. I live the plus two Dragon Claw. <laughs> Uh, what a beast! Celebi is a beast! Anyway, go for another Giga Drain. While well, he just continues to Dragon Dance, hoping that eventually, you know, he'll be faster than me and he can sweep my entire team with his Nubasaurus Rex. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, dude. So I'm just gonna keep Giga Draining him. He's below half now, and he's just Dragon Dancing again. <sighs> you know, if I were you, I would just give up on life and just, you know kill your, just let your thing die. So he's finally faster than me, so I'm like, okay, well, I kind of need to save Celebi, because, you know, it kind of walls Raindance teams. So I'll just switch out and fodder my Charizard, since I don't really need my Charizard. I mean, anyway, go into it, and he gets Parahaxed, which is, you know, that's fine with me. I really don't care. So Flame Wars here is a Dragon Dancing Charizard, which is why it has Fly, and it is freaking Beastly. But anyway, I finish off the Sony Nakusu, and he sends in his Politoed. Pretty predictable, so I have the perfect counter to this, and I'm just gonna go into it now. Hello, Tankly Beast! No. <laughs> oh my god, Milotic is such a monster in this match. It it's basically a monster in every match I use it in. So, um, this turn I used Boiling Water, just, you know, hoping I maybe I, maybe I could get a burn on the Politoed, but anyway, in comes a Chansey, which is obviously an Evo Stone Chansey, so I'm just gonna Dragon Tail it out into a Manaphy, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I can probably pretty much wall that as well, because I'm such a tankly beast, so I think he's trying to get a burn on me, uh, but what he doesn't know is I'm actually a Marvel Scale Rest Talking Milotic, so I don't really good, I don't give two craps about status, you could poison me, you could put me to sleep, I don't care. Uh, except for freeze, that's really the only thing that screws me over. But anyway, since I'm missing now, I don't think without Marvel Scale I can't take an attack. So I go back to Celebi, and even Celebi takes quite a bit from that Rock Slide. So uh, I figure, you know, I'll just kick a drain, and he might probably send in that chance again. And he did, but whatever. I get some health back. I get a crit, which is good. So I get quite a good chunk of health back there. And I'm just gonna switch back to Milotic because, you know, what can it do to me? It can paralyze me, I can rest that off, it can seismic toss me all day, I don't care, I'll just dragon tail it out, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So I go for the rest this turn, just to uh, get get some health, get some more of a scale, because I figure, you know, if I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna use dragon tail, then, um, you know, I, I want some, I want some defense here. This Milotic's defense and special defense are equal when it's asleep. It's pretty tankly. I mean, it's it definitely lives up to its name. So, um, yeah, I just sleep talk Dragon Tail, and I sleep talk, and now I get boiling water. I get pretty lucky with uh, sleep talk whenever I use it, which is really good. So he dry, he uh, seismic tosses, doesn't do anything. Anyway, he predicts me to wake up and use Dragon Tail, which is which is exactly what I do. He goes. Goes back out to Politoed. I'm not really afraid of it because, you know, if it does put me to sleep, that's no problem. But he's just gonna focus blast me. Does like nothing. I guess he was trying to get the special defense drop or something. I mean, I'm obviously gonna kill him before he kills me. What really astounded me is the fact that he freaking hit with every single focus blast. He didn't miss once. And I was like, wow, this guy has gotta be pretty freaking lucky with his focus blasts. But anyhow, I rest up this turn. Because, uh, you know, I don't want to have my only, my basically Pokemon that's walling his entire team to die right now. I mean, this battle was long. It was 
49 turns of stalling with Milotic. Like, Milotic basically just killed half of his team. Literally, killed half of his team just because he couldn't kill it. So anyway, since I'm missing, I sleep talk, get the boiling water, and that does a crap ton. I mean, my EV spread has... Uh, a little bit of an investment in special attack, but still not a whole lot. Anyway, uh, he misses a rock slide. I doubt that would have done anything anyway, because, you know, whatever. He's dead now, so. Sends in a chancy, and I can't do anything to it, but he t waves me, and I don't really care. Basically just guarantees that I have Marvel scale, so, you know, I'm just going to keep phasing his entire team until he decides to either do something else or kill me. And in comes a Manaphy, so I just decide, well, I'll probably, I'll just switch here to Celebrate and uh, take whatever. He gets a crit hit, boiling water, and there's, look, okay, I was messing around on P.O. when I was recording this, and P.O. felt the need to open up every single window right where I was recording. It was very irritating. So I was hoping I could get a paralysis on that. God, see, look at that. On the mana Look, it just keeps popping up. I was hoping to get a paralysis on the mana fee, and then I, you know, later in a battle I realized, oh, wait a minute, it has that silly hydration thing. So I go into big pecs now, because I want to knock off the evolution stone just to make it useless. So there goes the evolution stone. The chance is basically can't take anything now. He paralyzes me, which, like, I don't really care. I mean... Anyway, sends in uh, Mana Fee now, and um, I'm fairly sure I can live an Ice Beam pretty handily, and I can live it very handily, look at that. So anyway, I'm going to knock off his leftovers, just because they're getting kind of annoying right now. So I can take these Ice Beams all day, but is pretty much a monster. So I go for the Toxic, then I'm like, oh crap, I completely forgot about Hydration, that's annoying. So I gotta switch out back to Milotic and just wall it and hope that he gives up on life, because he can't kill my Milotic. Which I pretty much know, he can't kill my Milotic, it's just impossible. So I guess knowing that I'm about to Dragon Tail, he rests. You know, at this point, it's a matter of just getting my Kajondo in here to do something, you know? If I can get it in here safely, then I can just sweep his team with Kajondo. But that's what I'm waiting to do. It's Jolly Scarf with Reckless, so it can do quite a bit of damage. Anyway, he's Boiling Watering. I don't... I guess it's... His only moves are Boiling Water and Ice Beam, so he can't even touch my Milotic. Even at plus six, he probably couldn't even do half. Anyway, he uses Tail Glow this turn. I just sent in Big Pecs for Death Fodder, because I was like, okay, I need... I need to get a Sweeper in here right now. So I'm going to send in High Jump Pwn, who is actually my Choice Spec Zoroark in disguise. And he's uh, pretty sneaky right now, but unfortunately that Mana Fee is very special bulky. So I'm like, okay, well, uh, if you can take a Night Burst from a Choice Spec Zero Arc that well, then you sure as heck can't take a High Jump Kick that well. So I'm going to send in the real High Jump Pwn now, and High Jump Kick it, and it's going to die because it doesn't like taking my foot to its face. And in comes a Chansey, which is also going to die to my High Jump Kick, so... Good game, person who doesn't have a YouTube. I will see you guys next time with another battle.